Hey guys, it's Dave from the Install Bay. We're using the SMD DD1 to do a distortion detection on the Kenwood Exelon 893S. For all you guys that have a 9903, it's the same radio, so check it out. Now we're going to go ahead and start this test using the CD. Even though most of you guys probably don't even use CDs, it's a good place to start. So we're also going to start with plugging into the subwoofer first, and then we'll go on to the front. Now we want to go ahead and hit menu, audio, equalizer, and make sure we're set to flat. Then go back and check the sound effects and make sure that all this is off too. Make sure that the subwoofer volume is set to zero. Now that we have the radio all leveled out, we'll go ahead and start turning up the volume. We have the SMD DD1 turned on. Let's go ahead and start turning it up until we see our signal light come on. Okay, so we're detecting 40 hertz. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. All right, so we've maxed out the radio with no distortion at all on the RCA. Let's go ahead and turn it back down. We'll go ahead and go to track two. And we'll switch to the front. Start turning it back up again. All right, so we're detecting the 1000 hertz. Keep going. And we have no distortion. So using CD, we can max out the volume. But obviously we don't just listen to CD. We listen to AUX, we listen to USB, we listen to Bluetooth. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our phone. So what you wanna do now is download a tone generator app to your phone. Uh, F Generator Pro is a nice one. It allows you to pick pink noise and white noise as well as frequencies. So we'll go ahead and select tone and select a thousand hertz. We'll plug in our phone. In this case, it's going to launch Apple CarPlay. We'll select the now playing icon and we'll select play on our phone. Now we'll start turning up the volume. So at 28, it detects our signal we'll keep going and of course it maxes out with no distortion now we'll switch to the subwoofer and see if there's any issues there turn the volume back down we'll go in and we'll select 40 Hertz we'll turn the volume back up at 28 it detects and now we've maxed out the volume again with no distortion. Now the one nice thing about the Kenwood radios is if you go here, hit menu, audio, and this guy right here, volume offset. What volume offset allows you to do is control the individual volume of each source. So if we scroll down here to where it says app iPod, we have a volume control. And by turning it up just one, you'll notice that is now clipping. So the volume on this is set pretty fine. Now let's go ahead and test the aux. So we still have it set up for 40 hertz. Let's go ahead and select AV in or aux and start turning up the volume. All right, we've gone ahead and maxed out the volume. Now with testing the CD, the aux, and the USB, we could assume that at the default zero settings for source level control, this radio is pretty much not gonna clip at all. But let's try out deck power, because that's where you know some of you are using the actual power that's built into the radio. So let's go ahead and we'll start on track two. We'll hook up to the front speakers and we'll start turning it up.
So at 19, it detects the signal. We'll keep going. And at 30, at 30, it clips using the 1,000 hertz. Let's turn it down a little bit. We'll go to track one. We'll start turning it up. And there again at 30, it clips. So this deck, deck power, will max out at 29. Now, assuming that the results would be the same for the USB as well as the aux as we did in the previous test, 29 is going to be where this is going to max out for deck power, and you can turn it all the way up without clipping if you're using RCAs. All right, so there you go. Another Kenwood radio passing the SMD DD1 distortion test with flying colors. No distortion at all on the RCA section. We tried a couple different sources just to check, and it seems like if you keep the source level control at zero, you're gonna be fine all across the board. Now, if you'd like to tweak it and max it out yourself, you know, if you're one of those guys, you should pick up an SMD DD1 and try it yourself. But if you're just a regular Joe and you want it to, you just want it to know, well now you know, you're good to go. Yeah. Deck power, that's a whole nother story. Every deck power is gonna clip at some point. That's unavoidable. This one allows you to go all the way up to 29, which is pretty far, so that's a good thing. You're gonna max out the volume and get a good, decent sound out of it. And with that, let's go ahead and just call it a night. You guys know where to find us, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. If you'd like to talk to us, check us out Monday night, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live. It's a cool question and answer show we do. Otherwise, you guys have a great night, and we will see you win later next time. Bye.